You're in my way! Hello, my lovely child of the internet. It is I, Multi126789, and welcome to Oro Cruz, uh, Mario Maker World. Uh, so yeah, once again, I'm back again with another Mario Maker video. Still at this point that I'm recording this, I'm still waiting for you guys to, you know, hand me some of your sweet levels. Uh, if not, then I'm still just gonna keep doing this for a little while, because, again, I'm trying to get back into Mario Maker, because I do think the game's really fun. I just haven't played it in a while, because, I won't lie, I've, other than playing Rune Factory, I was playing Animal Crossing, and other than that, I was playing Persona 5 Royal, and then, by the end of this month, I won't have too much time to play, uh, Mario Maker again, because Xenoblade will come out. And, also, I guess something that I should talk about in this video. Also, this is just a standard one level 1-1 one, one level, other than the fire, of course, but... Uh, a game got announced, uh, what was it? Was it yesterday? Today is the 16th, by the way, for reference for when I say yesterday. So, yesterday was the 16th of May of 2020. Uh, coronavirus is starting to... Uh, or COVID-19 is starting to die down a smidge. A smidge. We're getting to the point where, again, summer is now looking like it's starting to be a possibility for people to be able to go out and do stuff again and be normal. Only slightly, though, where I live. Though, you know, it's still something that you gotta be a little bit careful of because, you know, keeping yourself safe and not spreading germs is very important. But in any case, I digress, because yesterday, on the 15th of May of 2020, uh, Paper Mario The Origami King got a, a trailer that was dropped by Nintendo, and oh my goodness, isn't that gonna be fun? Also, I probably will cut a lot round a lot in this part of the video, because I die in the stage a lot, because... Okay. So, can we talk about game design and philosophy, okay? Okay. <coughs> so, as a player, or as somebody who plays games and also knows what is good and what's fun and enjoyable and what's a little bit intoxicating and rude, uh, putting enemies in a tight corridor where you don't have the most amount of control of your character is quite rude and aggravating. Huh. Very ag agitating indeed. Aggravating agitating, all the words that mean I'm gonna get mad because I'm like, oh, it's not my fault. It's just that they built the level in a way so it's not very fun for a human to complete. But anyways, that being said, I, I probably sped up if I did. If not, I didn't, but, you know, that being said, uh, Paper Mario The Origami King got released, and we saw a gameplay trailer of that, and we saw all kinds of cool things that they're going to do with the game. I'm personally excited. I am definitely excited for that game. Because, to be honest, uh, that game looks really good. Conceptually. Conceptually, I find it very enjoyable to look at and to think about playing. Because, again, I miss the Color Splash Train. Not because I didn't want to play it, really. Because I played Stickersar, and it's like, whatever. Stickersar is whatever. I speedrun it on my own time to see how fast I can beat the game. And I was like, well, oh, 10 hours. <laughs> 10 hours! And uh, that was probably not me even playing at peak performance, because I still fought certain enemies, even though I probably shouldn't have. And I tried to skip as many story beats and remember all the path ways you need to take as possible. And it took me 10 hours to beat... Star when I fully engage myself in playing. Uh, but I miss Color Splash, but I heard a lot of good things about it and how, you know, even though they had a bunch of toads, okay, listen, if you got so many different types of beings in the Mario universe, I honestly don't understand why you don't use them. 
you don't even have to create too many new things. It's just that if you have free existing enemies and things that are in the canon, just use them again. Just make them usable. Like, you have Waluigi. You got Wario. You got... Well, lesser to extend Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong because they're kind of getting separated from the Mario canon for some reason. Uh, but you know, you got some other villains from the Mario series that we don't see a lot. It's like, you can bring them back. I don't think most people will be angry. If anything, they'll be welcoming them back with open arms. Huh. But that being said, uh, I'm definitely excited to see what they're going to do with this one because they're actually putting an emphasis on, hey, we got new and exciting characters for you. New and exciting. So, that can't be understated at all. <laughs> that and also, I think the gameplay will be fine overall. Like, again, it's, it's not the system that everybody likes conceptually or everybody is very fond of because nostalgia, whatever. Because me, I don't even think Sucker Star's system was bad. It was just that it didn't make sense because you don't get... There's no real reason to actually do it, other than to feel the satisfaction of using your stickers. W even though in the game, you can just collect a whole bunch and never use them and only save them for bosses and you'll be fine. Because like I said, that 10 hour playthrough that I did in, a, in a, like an entire day, where I just sat and played the game to see how fast I could play it through, was ended up being 10 hours. And I was like, wow. This game was fun, but also I really hate how you can go for it in, like, you know, less time than, uh... Less time than any other RPG that I've played of the same variety of game. I digress again, though. I digress. All I'm saying is that I'm, ca I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic about this game. And I'm not gonna let anybody who has nostalgia glasses, or just doesn't want... Or just is gonna complete, keep complaining and whining about the fact that we don't have the other version of Paper Mario to get in my uh, get in my zone of what I want for this. Because again, we had regular Paper Mario for the 64, then we had a Thousand Year Door, then we had Super Paper Mario. Those are the three that I played that I was like, man, these were all hog quality. Yeah, I will say that Paper Mario Stickers are kind of took a lot of the charm and mystique out of the game. Uh, only because, uh, you know, I'm not actually sure. It's just like, you took a lot of the characters and charm out of it and just said, hey, this is a, some wacky story with a Mario that's made out of paper. Whoa, wouldn't that be funny? Which I think rubbed a lot of people the wrong way, and I mean, I can I can concede with that, because as much as I would like to say that I, uh, that I really like the concepts of Sick or Star, it wasn't the be-all end-all, really. It really was not. I mean, do I think, do I think that they've now found a better way to formulate a story into characters and make personalities out of these characters instead of being one-note characters that all look the same, all talk the same, all act the same? Oh yeah, that's why I'm excited for the game, more, more or less, because they're actually going to experiment and be like, let's see if this actually works. Let's see if we can give the people what they want, which is a unique story, unique characters and settings that we haven't seen before, different way of ex experience the same sort of concept for the game without it being stale, and most importantly, are they going to enjoy it? The only thing that really worries me about the battle system, which I'll, which everybody will say, because that it's the same problem that Snicker Star and I think Color Splash had for most people, is that, again, there's no real incentive to battling. Again, like, that's the one thing I'm worried about, is that, oh, we have a battle system, but do you use it for only the bosses, or do you fight all the plebeian em enemies that aren't going to do that much? And it's like, mm, you know, it's not like I don't want to fight the enemies, but also, if I don't need to fight the enemies and waste resources, then why would I? Like, if... All I'm saying is that... You don't have to have bad points, you don't have to have flower power, but make it so when you level up you gain something other than money and health. 
any anything that makes it interesting it's fine by me but just remember that you got to make it uh the replay value in the what's it called the vicious cycle of player player feedback needs to be good like we've learned ha we have learned this with other games in both Mario series and not Mario series where it's like Mario Odyssey a lot of the draw in that is that, oh, there's so many moons and so many new things that you can find and discover, and the movement is always something the great to go back to when you want to go and play a game with very sharp movement and allows you to do cool and fun stuff and doesn't limit you. Uh, what's another game that I played recently that has a really cool... Well, Rune Factory 4, a uh, special, obviously, but I guess none of you were really surprised by me saying that. But, like, the feedback loop of, hey... Beating up enemies, farming, getting a lot of money so you can reduce, keep redoing it to the point where now you are have infinite amount of money. You're the strongest you've in the land. You can take down anybody, and it doesn't matter. And the same with Animal Crossing. Even though there still are a few things that they can improve on, don't get me wrong. Uh, I've been playing for, I think, almost, almost three weeks now. Uh, but I already... Completed now, uh, on the day that I'm recording this, it's the, let's see, okay, it's the 16th of May, uh, on 2020, just for reference, probably won't be uploaded the same day, that's for sure, but, just, just in reference, uh, yeah, Animal Crossing has a really addictive feedback loop, but again, it's one of the things where it's like, yeah, it has problems, but the whole thing about playing the game that makes it really addictive is the fact that, yo, Hey guys, listen, lad. Listen, okay. <laughs> we're gonna treat you. We're gonna treat you right when you play play our game. We're gonna make you feel like you're progressing at a good pace. That there's always something to come back and do. And even when you think you're done with the game, you're not done with the game. Like that's all we want from the next Paper Mario 2. Because I mean, there's all kinds of little things that you probably could have found in sticker star but it's like most of them weren't even off too off the beaten path unless it was something that was arbitrarily difficult to find because i don't know we had to make some secrets so they had replay value but like even like in the first two paper marios there wasn't that too many obscure things that made it great but it was more of the thing of just also, yeah, I died. <laughs> I died a very humiliating death because I didn't know how to use the acorn suit in this um, game. But it turns out that you just have to hold the A button to glide. And I died humiliatingly twice. But that being said... I'm just trying to think. I might be... I might even be later in the video than I actually am. Who knows? But all I'm saying is that I'm excited for the next... Uh, the next game, the Origami King, and you know, you know, dang well that I'm gonna be playing that on my channel. So don't even ask. That's gonna be a let's play, whether it's a live stream let's play or not. I'm gonna be playing that on my channel. Bet your blue barren butthole that that's gonna happen. I I also don't apologize for saying that. Um, what else can I talk about? Well, I like I said, I have been playing Animal Crossing because I did everything in Rune Factory, and I haven't really had the need to make more, uh... more tips and tricks videos because I didn't know that if you guys wanted any. None of you seemed to respond, so I think all the tips and tricks videos that I did were good enough for the time being. But if somebody gives me one that I really didn't think about, uh, or consider while doing a whole bunch of the other stuff, then I'll probably go back and do it, because booting up Rune Factory would be nice. Even though, even if I am just playing, uh... Oh yeah, I get softlock. That's cool. Um, even if I am, uh... What's the word I'm looking for? Ugh. Oh. Even if I am playing Animal Crossing, because a lot of the stuff with Animal Crossing for me is like, I play it like twice a day. Once early in the morning, because I usually work and wake up early in the morning. And then another time near the end of the day, during the evening, just so I can catch and do some of the evening stuff you can't do in the morning. But like, even still, I'm enjoying the game. 
it's just that it's hard to make content on a game that you're like, oh yeah, I already technically completed everything that you need to do up until this point. Because I got the KK Slider stuff within, like, less than a month of playing the game. And I'm like, oh, cool. And now I got the forming already, and I've been trying to make plans on how I'm going to do that. But before any of that, I still want to make some different variety of flowers, pay off my huge loan for my house, and just make sure generally that I don't have to worry about anything when I play any other time other than, hey, I want to help out some of my friends grab stuff or get new things because I have this, the capability to do so more or less than me actually having to worry about anything. So, yeah. But no, I I was just taking a lot of pause because I don't know how I'm going to be cutting up the audio, really, or how I'm even going to be changing the video to alter it, so having cuts in the audio sometimes is fine. But, uh, there's not much more to talk about in this world other than, you know, the previous level, the ice one, was really not fun because putting too many, putting too many ice too many too many things in the ice level were too close together and made it an unfair hazard for no reason other than hey you just didn't want to space them correctly so that's cool and then the acorn suit level was pretty entertaining but you know it's whatever and this stage also has a whatever feeling to it where it's like it's it, it has a high point but it's not that high of a high point but, you know, it's whatever. It's whatever. I mean, that being said to me, who also makes levels that aren't the greatest, but also I haven't toyed around with a lot of the new concepts and the gimmicks that this game has to offer, offer because I've been doing so much stuff in behind the scenes and actually just wanting to do YouTube again because I'm motivated. I'm motivated! <laughs> that and also, uh... Sometimes I actually get some time to myself because family isn't home during the quarantine. And it's like, oh no, they're not out doing stuff that they aren't supposed to. But sometimes it's hard to social distance when you stay your, all your butts at home all the time. Even though for me, I would love to stay my butt home all the time and do content like this and not having to worry. But I digress, I digress. <laughs> because that, I mean, it's not a dream for me to do YouTube full time. It's more just a fun hobby that I like to be able to just sit down and do when I have the feel like doing it and have the move for it. But, like, I still have plenty of stuff going on in the background of just, not only just in working, but also some of my other hobbies that I like doing. So, it's not like I ever have a dull moment and I don't have free time to do stuff. It's just for me, and comparatively to everybody else who has free time, I'm like, you can always pick up something that you haven't ever done. Or you don't have time to, because, boy, I sure wish I could still have time to do some of that. One day off during a seven-day week when everybody's getting quarantined and everybody's saying they're bored, and me saying, I'm working! <laughs> I wish I had a chance to be bored. It's kind of discouraging in a way, but also it's like, I understand, but it's whatever. It's whatever. But at the end of the day, I'm excited for Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, which I'm gonna probably... I'm probably gonna buy or pre-order. You know, I probably will pre-order after I re finish recording this video, because... To be honest, I, sh I should have been gone and done that already, so I can make sure that it comes in on the right date. So, I'll probably do that after I'm finished. And all the rambling aside, we did it. We finally finished, uh, I forget the world's name. Well, but we finished another world. And, uh, yeah, that's gonna be it, everyone. 
Uh, once again, want to leave your levels or any of your worlds down in the comments below? I'll definitely decide tr or try to make a vid full-fledged video just for you on the channel. So yeah, with that being said, I have been Multi Man or Multi One Two Six Seven Eight Nine, and I'll catch you, lovely chows, next time. So ciao, ciao, until then.